how how is COVID impacted on a accident victim, somebody that get that's gotten hurt right now in the midst of COVID? How how has COVID impacted on that person's ability to get uh, to have his rights adjudicated or or to have his bills paid and things like that? That's a very good question, and and there it's a somewhat complex answer. Uh, to one degree, COVID hasn't affected it at all. So if you're injured in, let's say, an automobile accident, the insurance companies are still up and running and operating. And to some degree, they're even operating a little bit more efficiently because everybody's using technology. So things are moving faster. So all of the immediate benefits that you would be entitled to if you were, let's say, an automobile accident victim, that being your bills paid, your wages paid, your property damage for your car paid, that'll all happen with or without COVID because you, those don't require, in most cases, the intervention of the court system. So they'll happen just as, as if they would normally. However, if you have an injury that you're then suing for, so in other words, you're not, it's not your, your, your immediate medical bills, it's your future medical bills or your medical bills that weren't covered by insurance uh, or it's your wages that weren't covered by insurance. So these out-of-pocket losses that you may have, including of course your pain and suffering, which is usually the biggest one if you really hurt, those things have been would be impacted by COVID because the court systems have been shut down and slowed. However, really, it's only the tail end of the court system in, in the civil system that's been slowed, <clears throat> that being the trials. Everything else is, is up and running and has been, with the exception of maybe about six weeks in the very beginning of COVID. And that, be, that being, if you have to bring a lawsuit, you can. If you uh, And lawyers can answer the complaints. Discovery can can go ahead, just as it always has. And in fact, to some degree, some of the discovery might even be easier or faster because it can be done by Zoom remotely. So depositions that we previously sometimes would have to uh, have, uh, you know, three or four different attorneys and uh, two witnesses and a court reporter. And to set all that up, you know, we would typically hear, well, I'm not available. I'm available here. I'm available there. And sometimes you'd even have to run to a judge and say, this is ridiculous. They, they won't do a deposition for five months. It's crazy. Now, because of COVID and everybody doing everything by uh, virtual, by the computer, you, there's a lot less excuses. You know, you can, you can sit wherever you're sitting and do the deposition. So the depositions in the discovery process really hasn't been impacted and to some degree has been made a little bit easier. Of course, once all that's done and you're ready for trial, there then you have the negative impact because we just can't have trials, at least civil trials, because of the impact of COVID. And then even when things get sort of back to normal in the court system, it'll be the criminal cases that will be normalized first for obvious reasons. You can't have people sitting in jail waiting for trials. So those will be the first trials and were uh, with these 47 and 12 in New York City trials that happened. Most of them uh, have been criminal trials at first. And that's what will happen. But it'll get back. <laughs>